All right, let's talk about London. Let's talk about Sad IQ Khan and his obsession with ultra low mission zone or ULES. Uh, so obviously we've had enough evidence to prove that he lied about the benefits of ULES. Uh, we had problems with him uh, messing up with the numbers of the actual survey, the consultation, and now. Sadiq Khan is uh, basically saying we need to have a nationwide ULES. Surprise, surprise. Who said it first? The deputy leader of the Labour Party, Angela Rayner, said it. And then the rest of the Labour Party said, well, she doesn't speak for the rest of us. Well, now Sadiq Khan is saying he wants, uh, ideally, a, a national level ULES taxing people for just leaving their homes and driving in their own cars. And considering he could be, potentially, the next Labour leader, it's concerning. Let's go to the evidence. Which is really important. You can make money on it uh, at the same time as, you know, reducing carbon emissions, uh, improving the air quality, having cleaner transport and so forth. On a slightly wider matter, I, I, you will have heard me speak about this on a regular basis because because of the really significant health and environmental benefits of introducing um, the central ULES, the inner London ULES and now the expanded Greater London ULES scheme. Um, there is the issue of the boundaries and in fact you were just talking about other cities who have help from the government but it's all in small pockets. Do you agree with me that we really do need some leadership here from the government on a national scrappage scheme to get rid of this uh, ridiculous boundary issue uh, and that there should be helping us all move to a future where you know there's less fossil fuel being used and vehicles are cleaner in general well to talk about leadership i must commend the two councils that you represent merton and ones that have given additional support to those making the transition and it's uh, well done i'm sure you had a role to play in that but it's really good news in relation to leadership to make that uh, transition but frankly speaking the government's making it uh, uh, more harder for uh, local authorities and regional mayors uh, to support people making the uh, uh, transition and you're spot on there should be a national scrappage scheme uh, you know to allow people just outside the borders of Greater London, but also those across the country who, who may want to make the transition because we know from the evidence that those inside a vehicle uh, breathe the most polluting air. If you've got two kids in the back, their lungs may be, their lungs may be stunted uh, because of your polluting vehicle. Most people want to make the transition and they need uh, support. We found additional money through our own budgets, both City Hall and uh, TFO, without a penny of support from the government. We could do with that support, as could those uh, in other parts of the country. Okay, firstly, I admit, listening to this guy makes you want to fall asleep, and I almost fell asleep just watching it again. Secondly, it, while it's concerning, everything coming out of their mouth, it's also very important for us to talk about this, because as you guys know, the way the mainstream media works is that uh, they work on basis of uh, distraction. And whether sometimes distractions are genuine and important issues around the world, and sometimes it's stupid stuff. Right now, the shift and focus is on what's going on in the Middle East, rightly so, and some other stuff. But because of that, these sort of stories are getting completely ignored. But 2CTV is here, we continue to get more views and attention than the rest of the lamestream corporate media. And we have to talk about these things. We have to uh, alert people around the country what sort of psychopaths we're dealing with because they want to completely change the face of the country. Do you know how we know that? Keir Starmer has been saying that over the last couple of weeks. That he wants to change the Labour Party and he wants to change the country. Well, what if we don't want the country to change that much, Keir? Have you thought about that? Let me know what you think. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.